Welcome to Edibon. For over 30 years, we have provided premier technical teaching equipment across the globe. Our product range covers most technical areas, which includes engineering, physics, electronics, communication, and renewable energy. Every Edibon product is designed, manufactured, and quality controlled at our headquarters in Madrid, Spain, under several quality standards. In this video, we will be discussing the Sterling Engine Unit, which is called the TMSC. It is a benchtop unit that teaches concepts of thermodynamics. The Stirling engine is a closed cycle regenerative heat engine that uses a temperature differential to create a cyclic compression and expansion of a gaseous working fluid to turn heat energy into mechanical energy. In this unit, we can also change that mechanical energy into electrical energy using an electrical generator, as well as determine the work by applying a brake to the system. This unit is supplied with a SCADA computer control system, which is patented by Edibon and based on LabVIEW. This system includes the physical unit, a control interface box, a National Instruments Data Acquisition Board, and a software package that allows computer control, data acquisition, and data management. The key components of our Alpha Sterling engine are the hot and cold pistons that are offset by 90 degrees, two temperature and two pressure sensors, one in each piston, an alcohol heat source which heats the hot cylinder, a control mechanism to block the flame during the experiment, a regenerator to increase efficiency, a flywheel, a detachable brake, a detachable electrical generator, and a load connected to the generator. Although no valves are required for the operation of a Stirling engine, valves were added to allow the user to easily change the oil or grease, and another valve was added to change the gaseous working fluid. For a quick demo, we will show three different items that a user can obtain. The first is the minimum threshold temperature required to create rotation in the system. The second is the relationship between the temperature dif differential and the rotation in the system. And the third is the ability to convert mechanical power into electrical power. For those first two items, we will start with the brake and the electric generator disconnected from the system. Then we will turn on the interface and we will start the program. Choose a file name of your choice and hit OK. The system can graph all parameters. Let's display temperature. A toggle switch displays a graph of the pressure in the cylinders. The sensors region displays the real-time value of all system parameters. With the electrical generator disconnected, notice how the voltage and current are both zero. In the actuator region, Pressing the open button allows the flame to heat the engine, while the close button blocks the flame. Leave the actuator open. If the graph is not sized correctly, simply change the values on the axis. Now, let's start saving the data with a measurement taken every 15 seconds. Right, we now light the alcohol heat source, place it in the system, and wait three minutes for the temperature differential to occur. With the Stirling engine running, you can see the cyclic pressure values in the pistons. Now we can view the collected data. Any parameters can be displayed. There is an auto scale button for convenience. The collected data can also be opened in an external program such as Excel. In this graph, you can see that the engine did not start rotating until there was a temperature difference of 50 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature threshold. It can also be inferred that there is a direct relation between the temperature difference and the rotational speed. An equation to approximate this relationship can be determined. For the third part, the electrical generator is attached to the flywheel and the experiment is repeated. The software is displaying voltage and current which can later be compared to any other parameter such as rotational speed and temperature difference to determine their relationship. The user manual provides multiple practical exercises that walk the students through the correct operational procedure while teaching specific concepts. A non-computerized version of this unit is also available. It displays the current sensor values but does not have data acquisition capabilities. Only Edibon has a SCADA system that provides the following benefits. Open control, multi-control, and real-time control. This means that at any time during an experiment, Multiple parameters can be changed at the same time with instantaneous effects on the unit. 
Each unit has specialized software based on LabVIEW to enable easy control of the unit. Calibration exercises, which are included, teach the user how to calibrate a sensor and the importance of checking the accuracy of the sensors before taking measurements. Projector and electronic whiteboard compatibility allows a unit to be explained and demonstrated to an entire class at one time. The system is capable of being remotely controlled over the internet by the user or by an Edibon technical support engineer. Each unit has four safety systems that are designed to mitigate risks for the user. This unit has been designed for future expansion, such as incorporating the unit in an Edibon Scadanet system, which enables many students to simultaneously operate any unit in their SCADA network. The following is included with every Edibon unit. Eight manuals, including a user manual that explains the scientific theory being studied, any related mathematical equations, the function of each component in the unit, and how the unit is operated. Each unit is designed and manufactured under strict quality control, which allows us to offer a three-year guarantee against any manufacturing defect and components control for the lifetime of the unit. Lastly, due to the previously stated points, Edibon proudly provides full customer satisfaction. Thank you for watching this video. A link to our website can be found in the video description below. For more information, please contact us by phone or email. We look forward to talking with you.